Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how to candy coat your apples, as well as sharing my recipe and some tips on how to perfect this process. Because let's face it, it's all about the technique. If you like videos like this, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And for more information about this recipe, I will be linking it in the description below. Okay, so let's get started. Let me show you really quick what you will be needing. You will need the following. This recipe makes about mm, 10 to 11 apples. Today I will be just doing seven green apples. Make sure they are Granny Smith. We are also gonna need lime juice. In this case, this is what I have. You can also use lemon, but we will need this shortly. And we're gonna need your uh, corn syrup. This is the brand I use. Also, your granulated sugar, any type of brand. I'm going to need, very important, your uh, candy thermometer. This is the brand I got and I just got it at ShopRite. We're going to need your sticks, okay, and as well as some uh, wrapping bags. I suggest you use clear because once you put the color in these, you won't want to cover them. They're going to look so beautiful. And you will need your color. Today we're going to use uh, red, just food coloring as well as some ribbon to do the packaging and some Bake Easy from Wilton. This will prevent from your apples to stick to the pan once they're cooling off. Okay, in the first section of this video, we're gonna do prep because it is very important. The first thing we're gonna do is wash your apples. Just remember that you want to use Granny Smith for some reason, uh, when I use other type of red apples, the candy would not stick to them. For some reason, Granny Smith are the apples that work for any type of um, candy coated apples. Now, the next thing is to remember that every apple has this wax film on it. That's why we need to clean it. If we don't clean it, when you're ready to um, sugar coat your apples, the uh, sugar is not going to stick to the apple and you're gonna end up having this gooey mess. So always remember to clean your apples. And I will show you in the next clip on how to do that. Okay guys, so I have hot boiling water and I'm gonna put it right here in this bowl. Now you do want to make sure it's really hot so that wax on the apples, it all comes off of it, okay? So once you do that, what I do is I place my apples right in it and you have to work fast. You don't want to take too long because the longer they spend on the hot water, the faster your apples will turn brown or at least the skin will. So what I do is just count to 10 and rotate each apple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and I take my apple right away and do the same process with the other ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. That's, that's how much longer I'm going to be uh, needing my apple to be in. So again, that the skin doesn't turn brown. Okay. And you're gonna work on each apple individually. You certainly don't wanna skip this step because I find out when I left it too long, um, they just turn brown. Or there were recipes where it told me to add vinegar. Do not do that. It did not work for me. So, and here you have it guys. This is, I'm gonna continue to do this until all the wax is off. Okay. After you take your apples from the hot water, you're gonna grab a paper towel and you're gonna dry them and take the excess water. You also wanna kind of polish them to just make sure that all the wax is off. And you're gonna continue to do that until they're shiny, but no wax, okay? Make sure that your apples also don't have any dents because you just don't want those spots. Um, you wanna make sure that it's nice and round 
so that your candy can stick to it. Okay, now I finally got all my apples ready to go. And now we need in a little cup to put um, lime juice in it. This section is all about prep. It's very important you do not skip any step. So you're gonna go ahead and squeeze. It can be lime or lemon. In this case, all I had was just lime. Make sure one whole lemon goes in it, okay? And then squeeze the other half of the lemon. And we're gonna need this for the next step. So now that you have your juice right in here, you're gonna grab your sticks, okay? And you're gonna dip the end, the pointy part of your stick, in the lime. Now you wanna do this, this is a little trick. Um, think of it this way. When you cut an apple open and you leave it out for a whole day, they're gonna turn brown. They're gonna start to oxidate, right? So it's the same concept. When you puncture your apple with the stick, you wanna make sure that this section right here stays um, sealed not necessarily open because any air hits that it's going to turn brown so what the lime is going to do is going to prevent from air getting in and um, making your apple look brown so we're going to go ahead and dip it just like this and you're going to proceed to puncture your apples just like that okay again grab your stick dip it in the lime juice and then you're gonna grab and puncture it. That's it. Now there's gonna be some excess juice here. You can also clean that up a little bit with a paper towel after you're done. But this is mainly the prep for each and every apple, okay? Now that you have all your apples good to go, what you're gonna do is use the Bake Easy um, nonstick spray and you're gonna spray your baking sheets, okay? The reason why we do this is because once we coat our apples, we have to work fast. Because if we don't, the longer um, you take, the faster your apples will start getting hard. And when you place them in your baking sheet, you don't want the candy to stick to the base because then you're gonna have to go ahead and chisel it out and you don't want that. So you use this. Um, some people prefer to use like parchment paper. I find it easier this because it's also easier to clean up. You just spray it and you are good to go. So you will be needing a small pot just like this one and your candy thermometer. We're gonna go up to 300, that's the cracking stage, okay? And when placing your thermometer in your pot, make sure that the tip of the thermometer does not touch the bottom of the pot because that will not give you an accurate reading and also it's a potential for your thermometer to break. So we're gonna hook it up just like that, okay? And you're gonna need one cup of water three cups of sugar, and you're going to need a half a cup of your corn syrup. Okay, you're going to need a spoon for this make sure you add it all like that now some people decide to put the color right after all the liquids are boiling i personally don't like to do that only because Trust me when I tell you, this is gonna get really hard. So you wanna work fast, but you don't wanna burn yourself. And you essentially need to stir this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a few drops of this 
depending how bright you want the color to be, it's you can add all of it if you want. But I will only do a few big drops and that should do it, okay? So I'm gonna grab that spoon from the corn syrup and I'm gonna start mixing the color with the sugar, the water, and the corn syrup. Okay, and now you're gonna start your fire. And you're gonna put it into a medium to high temperature. And, okay. and then you just have to wait for this to start boiling and getting into the 300 Fahrenheit heat to move on to coating your apples. Hi guys. Okay, so it's almost done. It's up to 300 Fahrenheit. And now I'm gonna shut the heat off. Just be very careful when taking your thermometer out because it will be hot. And you have to work fast. So what you're gonna do is grab your apple, okay? And you're gonna make the sugar as an incline and dip your apple right away. Rotate in it, rotate in it, rotate in it. Okay? And what you're gonna wanna do is take the excess off. So what I do is I help myself and keep rotating with my other hand until there's no more excess. You're gonna put it in your sheet and move fast. You don't want the candy to start getting hard and then you have to wait another few minutes for the candy to melt again. So rotate it again, take the excess out so the bubbles can um, be off. Okay. And do it again. Just make sure you work fast. And be careful, you guys, because this is really hot. You definitely don't want to have to burn your hands doing this, okay? Again. Now this, this recipe makes about, I would say 10 to 11 apples. Um, you could double the recipe up if you wanna make more, say for a party. I mean, I did this apples for my daughter's two year uh, birthday party and my son's baby shower and they were a hit. Not only um, the kids loved the apples, but also the adults. I guess it kind of brought them back memories to when they were little. And they were just a hit. So, see what I mean, you guys? You got to work really fast because then the candy starts getting really hard right away. And it's harder to dip the apple in hard candy, right? You want to rotate, rotate. And take the excess out. And you'll be shocked how quickly uh, these apples go hard. There you go. And let me show you what I'm looking at right now. How cute these are. Now, sometimes you will have some bubbles in them, but you know, for the most part, if you clean them very well, you won't. And in this case, I have, I see a few bubbles in here, but it's not the end of the world. I mean, you know, I just did this really fast. So I hope you guys like the recipe. I will show you in the next clip how to uh, package them, which you also want to do fast because what you don't want is for um, the longer they stay out, the the faster the candy will start to kind of melt depending on the weather conditions. So you do want to package them right away and put them in the fridge. Um, they last about maybe two weeks tops as long as they're in the fridge, 
you're good to go with the apples. They'll stay fresh and they won't turn brown or anything like that. So see you in the next clip. Okay, you guys, so here are the apples and they smell so good and they look so pretty. So what I'm gonna teach you now is how to package them. Now, if you touch them, you'll see that they're really hard now and all you gotta do is just wiggle it a little bit and they'll come off. There you go, you see? Now, of course, like I said, if um, you don't want too much excess at the bottom, you gotta make sure that you roll and roll and roll your apple so to get that excess out because once you place them on the uh, sheet pan they're gonna get this type of halo at the bottom some people like it some people don't because i did it so fast today i got extra excess but i wanted to show you guys uh, the technique to um, roll your apples in the candy so now they are on the warmer side but you gotta work fa fast on packaging them yet because you don't want the candy to start melting with the um, heat in general and start getting gooey. So I have this clear bags, they're just regular clear bags, and I'm gonna go ahead and put my apple right inside the bag, okay? I'm gonna do a little twirl like this, and these little bags come with um, these type of wires. I'm gonna go ahead and close that just like this okay and then i had already pre-cut this pretty uh ribbons so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna put a fancy cute ribbon on them let me know if you guys want me to do other types of candy apples with different colors i have i've made for my son's baby shower baby blue and they turned out super cute i will post a picture so you can see them um but whatever the event whatever the theme of your party is you can use the ribbon to match with the party colors accordingly but look at how cute these are with the little cute ribbon detail and i mean you can put it in any type of different color bags but because you want the color to come through i just use clear bags and i let the bows do all the decoration isn't that cute so what you want to do is go ahead and put them straight in the fridge because you don't want um, this candy to melt and they will stay good for up to two weeks in the fridge remember that so i'm going to continue to do my bags and my candy apples so that they don't melt like this you do a little twist they're gonna be you're gonna feel them they're still warm but they're manageable okay they're not gonna burn your hand twist 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 and i tell you guys these are such a hit I mean, they were so good and people are requesting these apples just as a statement for a candy table. Um, so I think it serves as a decor, but it also adds that like wow factor. And it can even be like used for a, um, you know, as a goodie bag or a party favor. So kids love them, parents like them, and you know, it's a, it's a novelty to them. So because of this, I decided to add this into my business as a add-on service because I think it's really cute. Now, if you wanna do a business um, just about candy apples, you can do that too. I heard it's very uh, profitable. So, but I do it as an add-on to my, um, you know, event styling services. So there you go. another one right there look at how cute these are turning out so i'll continue to do this and there you have it guys i hope you like this video follow me in my other media platforms i have an instagram if you want to check it out it'll be um in the link below and uh, i hope that this video showed you guys how to prep your apples candy coat them and package them and um if you like more videos like this please don't forget to subscribe comment and like right below 
and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.